Hello everyone, it's your boy Strasbourg. Welcome back to another distortion-y, grimy-filled video. Today we are checking out a pedal from a builder that I have only relatively recently become familiar with, but have very quickly fallen in love with. I would say no homo there, but I feel like we've as a society, have progressed past the need to say no homo, so extra homo, maybe. A company that I've very quickly fallen in love with. Everything from the pedals that they make to the aesthetic and the kind of the sounds that you can get and the kind of the aim, everything I'm very much, I have very much become enamored with in recent uh, recent kind of months. Uh, and that is non-human audio. You've seen the title. You know what the fuck we're doing. Um, obviously, I recently picked up their flagship pedal, the Slow Loris. Uh, go check that video out uh, if you haven't already. And uh, I very much fell in love with that pedal. It's still on my pedal board. It's a great sound. Very, very kind of unique. But we're not talking about that today. We're talking about their most recent release, or his. Uh, his, I should say. The company is one man, Dave Jordan. Shout out, brother, if you're watching. Today, we're checking out uh, his most recent release and that is the unclean cascading distortion unit uh, i don't know if that's a full title but that's what i'm calling it it's called the unclean and basically it's what i just said it's a cascading distortion pedal so it's basically what that means is it's got two distortion circuits in it uh that you control via the two gold knobs here on the left um would that be my left is thing are things flipped in the camera i don't know let's keep going so you've got kind of two distortion circuits that run in series so one and then the other and you control the kind of gain control from here and you can do lots of cool blending and the like very unique sound well the sound is unique but it's the application and the kind of intent behind this pedal that is truly unique so let's go through some controls obviously over here on my left we'll say in, or the left you have uh the two gold kind of tipped knobs, topped knobs, uh, and they control the gain. So top one is for gain one, which is first, and it's a brighter, more aggressive, higher gain sound. Then this controls gain two, which is second and is a bit darker, not as high a gain. Then we have the volume control up here. There is a shit ton of volume uh, on tap on this baby. So if you want to you know, smash the front of your amp or preamp pedal, this thing will do it. And then down here we have a resonance control. So it's not quite a tone control. It's kind of like a low end filter shaper thing. When you have it rolled all the way off, especially really just fully off, it's very kind of bright and it takes a lot of low end out. I, sh I shouldn't say it's bright, but it takes a lot of low end out and you get this real pick attacky sound. But then as you start turning up, it kind of starts adding low end in, but in a not in a traditional like kind of EQ, parametric EQ kind of way. It just adds more low end feel to the pedal is how I would describe it, which is great, particularly when using this thing on bass. Personally, I like to keep, because I like my, my sound a bit brighter, a bit more pink attacky. So I kind of run this bad boy almost all the way to the left, but uh, to the right, sorry, or whichever way you're looking at, almost always off, um, just a little bit on. And then I kind of tend to gun this gain this uh, the first gain stage the brighter one and then just have a little bit of the other one to kind of add some meat back into the sound but yeah sick pedal it's been living on my board for a while i've been kind of swapping chopping changing uh either using this uh, and kind of bouncing it off my halberd depending on how i'm feeling at the gig or you know just when i'm playing and it's a different sound but it very much stands on its own and doesn't falter and that's a feat because the Halberd is probably my favorite overdrive pedal. The Halberd from EAE. It's probably my favorite overdrive pedal of all time. Uh, and this thing definitely can uh, stand up next to it. And I mean, just look at it. It's so, it's so cool. Like I love the whole, the way he designs and kind of paints his pedals and everyone's new, unique. Every individual unit is unique, which is very cool in my opinion. All right. We are going to get into the playing. So obviously I'm going to be using this. Uh, the rest of the signal chain for guitar stuff, I'm going to be using my Dunnable D Cyclops into the EAE Citadel as my preamp, as per usual, and then into the Two Notes Audio Cab M Plus as my cab sim running a Zilla 412. Uh, and then for the bass, same kind of signal chain, but I'm going to be using a Fender Precision 5 string bass and an Ampeg, I think, 8x10 
cab sim IR thingy majiggy for the bass guitar. So let's get into it.
All right, everybody, that is the end of the video. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, I hope you liked it. If you have an unclean, let me know. If you have a, any other of non-human audios pedals, let me know too. I'm definitely looking to get my hands on one or two others. I'm thinking maybe the Mocking Blur next. I think that'll be a lot, a lot of fun. But let me know if you have a favorite from them. And uh, yeah, please like and subscribe if you enjoyed. Tell your mother you love her and... Uh, Fuck off.